how to make sure that your cute kid becomes a super successful model. If you have a cute kid that you wanna get into the modeling industry, make sure that you watch this video because these are all the tips that you're gonna need. Hi there, I am Kamala Kay. I'm an agency signed professional model that does print work and TV commercials. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing tips with you on once your kid gets signed, how do they actually become a successful model? Before we get started though, if you have not watched the previous video I made on pretty much all of the steps to take to try to get your child into modeling, make sure that you do watch that video. Let's say that your child is now signed to a reputable modeling agency because you did your work to make sure that it's a reputable agency and you're thinking, is there anything that I can do to just make sure that my child is booking work that they're going to be set up for success? So since this video is assuming that your child is already signed to an agency and you're like, I don't know what to do. Are they going to be booking work? How can I help them book more work? It is really important for you to know that just because your child is signed to a modeling agency, that does not mean that they are going to be booking consistent work. And that is for a variety of reasons. Let's face it, your child is super cute, super adorable. Everyone says they have the greatest personality and that's why a modeling agency actually signed them. But guess what? If the agency already signed another hundred models as well, they were all super cute with super great personalities, hence why they're also signed to the same agency as you are. So therefore, when a client is picking a model, there's no way that they can pick a hundred different talents, right? But also, there are actual phases that your child will go through that's either going to advance the opportunities for booking or lower the opportunities for booking. So for instance, when we see a lot of ads with little babies and toddlers, a lot of times they're at that perfect age where brands use them a lot more often. However, as your child starts to grow and they're in some of those in-between stages, a lot of times they won't be booking as much work in those transition phases. So it's not uncommon that your child is super busy and then all of a sudden you're wondering, did we do something wrong? Like what can we do better? They haven't been booking. Your child is growing, changing, and that's not always the most conducive for a specific brand. Also something that could be preventing your child from booking work at the time is, for instance, if your child has just lost all of their front teeth, some brands are okay with that, but a lot of brands would prefer to wait until your child starts to grow back in those teeth in order to book them. It's really a hit or miss based on the client. One of the things that you wanna always make sure that you're keeping your modeling agency up to date with are snapshots or digitals. So what are those? Are those professional images? Snapshots or digitals are basically when you put your child up against a plain white wall, preferably a white wall or at least something super plain, something light colored, and you're gonna take literally photos of them with your cell phone. Make sure that you have really good lighting when you take your snapshots. For instance, I'm using my ring light over here for this video. So the lighting needs to be really great. You wanna make sure that your child is pretty loosened up on camera, that they are showing some personality, getting some photos of them smiling. When you take your snapshots, there should be no one else in the photo. They should not have food all over their face. They shouldn't be holding a toy. You just want them in a plain, super simple, cute outfit against the plain wall, looking directly to the camera and smiling. These are the snapshots that allows the agency that you're signed with, or maybe the agency that you're still getting signed with to be able to see exactly what your child looks like to see if they are marketable for the specific clients that the agency is currently working with. Update your agency every two months or so with new snapshots, especially if you have a child that's been rapidly growing, that's super important. Update your agency with your child's new sizes because we know kids grow really quickly. So you need to make sure that you measure their height, and clothing size, and their shoe size updates. And make sure that if these tips are helping you on getting your child into the modeling industry, that you subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up button, and also click that bell notification button because it's what alerts you to the fact that I have new videos that's going to help you out on this journey. And if you have not already watched that previous video on how to get your child into modeling, make sure that you watch that as well. Now, your snapshots and your portfolio pictures are completely different. Your snapshots are taken on your cell phone, something that you can do at home, whereas your portfolio pictures for your child are taken with a professional photographer. The difference is important. Agencies are often going to ask you for the snapshots because they wanna see what your child is currently looking to, like in that exact moment. However, with your portfolio pictures, a lot of times photographers that shoot kids photography, they get booked up super far in advance. So for instance, if you know that you're going to 
need to update your child's portfolio in about two or three months, go ahead and schedule that shoot now because those top photographers that work with kids are sometimes booked months in advance and you don't wanna wait till, oh, three weeks out thinking you're gonna be able to get a shoot with a great photographer. Sometimes that doesn't happen. Something else that's going to help you increase your odds of booking work for your child or your child booking work is if an agency suggests a photographer, and obviously we wanna make sure this is a reputable agency, not just an agency that's signing everybody and taking your money and maybe getting commission from photographers that they're suggesting you to work with. Assuming that all of these things are in place that's proper, if an agency suggests a photographer that they think that you should shoot with for your child, then make sure that you try to budget to shoot with those specific specific photographers. Why is that important? There are certain brands that when they are looking for models, they can automatically identify some of the photographers that have shot these images. And the photographers often have a certain shooting style. They have a certain style for the clothing that they put the children in. And they know that these are the types of images that are, are going to make your child more attractive to a brand. So if an agency says shoot with XYZ photographer, don't shoot with five other photographers that have nothing to do with the list that the agency has provided you. So just keep those things in mind. If you have not heard from your agency in a while and you're wondering, are they even submitting my child? There is nothing wrong with reaching out to your agency via email and saying, hey, is there anything I can do besides X, Y, Z? List what you've already done to help the situation. Show that you have done the research, but do not send your agencies like an email that is a full dissertation. They do not have time to be constantly getting emails from you and getting a book of what questions you have. Be proactive in doing the work to find the research yourself, but obviously if there's something that you're a little bit concerned about or confused about how to do, make sure that you reach out to your agency in that way. Just a quick tip as a pause, besides being a professional model myself for print and TV, I am a modeling coach as you can see, but I do one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. So for parents, even adults that wanna get into the modeling industry, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions via Zoom, sometimes in person, and then we can go through everything that you need to know one-on-one. -on -one. The link for my one-on-one -on -one coaching is in the description below, or you can just go to kamalakay.com slash links and hop on my calendar. There are a lot of times when you're assigned to a really great agency and your child is not booking work, and it has nothing to do with your child, how cute they are, how, not cute they are, or if you are doing something wrong. Sometimes it's literally based on, maybe it's a season where there's not as much work, right? So sometimes during like the winter months, things slow down or at the start of the year, and then depending on your location, in the summertime, for instance, like in New York, things get busier. So there's so many different factors. Something else that you may not realize that you should be paying attention to, a lot of states have different rules when it comes to children working in the industry. So your child possibly has the work permit and those actually have expiration dates on there. There are plenty of times where agencies want to book your child and then they realize that your work permit has expired. So always keep a note on what are the dates on your work permit. There is so much that I can say about getting your child into child modeling and making sure that they're successful, all of these things, but just make sure that whatever you do, that you are doing this because your child likes this industry. It is not your child's job to make income for the family. Your child should be able to be a child. A lot of times clients can notice these things. So if your child, for instance, is going on set and they're not as personable or the client doesn't feel that energy from them because maybe the child is doing this because it's something you want, that's also another reason why your child is not getting rebooked because the clients have realized that this is something the parent wants more than the child wants. So keep that in mind. All right, that's it for this week's tips on how to get your child into the modeling industry and helping them become more of a success in the journey. Until the next video, make sure that you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.